Hello, my name is Dennis. I just purchased the Tascam 4-Track digital recorder. And, you know, um, the reason I did was because I wanted to be able to have the ability to go into my iTunes or my music folders and to drag different files or different music tracks over here and add some vocals over it or, you know, put them in the mix. However, after um, reading in the manual, I noticed that this device do not take stereo wave files such as the ones that's on your computer that's in um, iTunes or whatever music folder that you might have. So what's required is for you to convert your stereo wave files into a mono file that's 16 bit 44.1 kilohertz. So what I like to do is to show you how to go into iTunes and to convert your stereo files into WAV files that meet the criteria of 16 bits and 44.1 kilohertz. Okay? The first thing you want to do, you want to open up your iTunes. You want to click and go into preferences. Once you get into preferences, you want to come down, you want to name your library, or whatever. Then you want to go down to import settings. You want to click on that one. Okay, go up to where it says import using, click that, go to wave encoder. Come down, click on customs, click that one, and then it should open up for your sample rating. At your sample rating right there, that's where you want to get your 44.1, okay? If you have other ones on there, it might be on automatic, take from automatic, put it on 44.1. Your sample size might be on automatic, make that 16 megabytes, and then go from stereo to mono, Click on that, click OK, then click OK again, and that's what you have. That's all you need to do. Close that out, and you're done. Okay, now, let's say you have a file in there already. You click on that file. If you have a file, click on that one, go to Advanced, click Create Wave Version, and what that's going to generate for you, that's going to generate for you a, a mono wave version at the, at the um, perimeters that you just set you can take that and you can export that over into your task cam and that should work for you okay i hope you enjoyed the tutorial